This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And today we are talking about armor. All the things you need to know about Starbound's top tier armor. Yes, we're only covering top tier because, you know, who cares about the lower tier armor? So let's get to it. So we're going to start with the basics first, just for those people out there who come across this video and don't know anything about it. Uh, for those of you who already know the basics, I apologize. Stick around to the end though, because I have some good stuff for you as well. All right. So when you're playing Starbound, you get your anvil, that's where you make your armor, and you eventually upgrade your anvil to the replicator, and that allows you to make almost the highest level armor in the game, notice I said almost, because then after that you have to choose. Now what they've done is they want you to choose a specialization, and to do that you create one of these three different add-ons here, and you attach it to your replicator as so. Now each of these do a specific thing. For example, purple is health, the blue is damage, and the green is energy. So what they want you to do is pick one of these and specialize in one of those things. Now before the 1.3, when they nerfed the perfect armor, you could use the perfect armor and it was a combination of all three of these. So for example, the purple armor that you make will boost your health to a total of 220. Well, this perfect armor had a health of 220. The blue one here increased your damage to a total of 460. Now, this perfect armor had 460. And of course, this green one boosted your energy to 250. And the perfect armor here had a two boosted your energy to 250. So it was completely OP and it kept you from having to specialize in any particular one of these fields. But that made a lot of people angry because, you know, what if you don't want to specialize? What if you want to be just a jack of all trades and, you know, do whatever you want to do? And do you really still have that option? Well, we're going to explore that here in a minute. So they've nerfed this armor. This armor is still considered tier six. Now, if we take a look at it here and we equip it, you can see that it gives us 160 health, 160 energy, 400% increase in damage and 80 armor. It's not terrible. It's not terrible at all. But the real question is, is there a way to get high stats like this or higher stats like this and have them be well-rounded without having to specialize in anything? And, and there is, there is, we'll get to it. It's not quite as good as what the perfect armor used to be, but it's not bad either. So we have each of these stats. So if we equip this one, like I said, it's gonna boost you to 220, your damage is 160 and you're at 400. That's the health one. And this is the Nova Kid. I'm gonna go through each of these so you can see which one has the best and which combination is the best because combining these can get you some high stats. So if we take a look at this one, this is gonna boost you to 460. This is the damage one. You get 160 and 160. And if we go over here to this one, we check it out. It boosts you to 400, you get 250 energy and 160 health. Now notice these are all 80. So even if you're wearing the perfect armor, your defense will still continue to be 80. So I was thinking, and it, and it took me a little while, and I was like, there's gotta be a way to combine these to get something that was close to what we used to have with the perfect armor here, and you can. So if we take a look at this combination setup I have here and we equip it, you see we go to 178 on both health and energy and 431% increase in damage, and of course, it stays at the 80% armor increase. It's not fantastic, it's not as high as the, the 220 and the 250 that you used to have for these, but it's still not bad. And it's a nice, well-rounded setup for those who don't wanna have to specialize because I really don't believe you should have to specialize in either damage energy or or health. I mean, that whole cliche of your tank, your ranged and in, in your, your uh, DPS, it's just, it's so overplayed. So let's take a look at how I did this and what pieces I used here. So if we take a look, I use the headpiece from the Wrangler set, that's from the purple one over here, and I use the chest piece from the damage set, the clockwork set, and I use the pants from the energy set, the gambler's pants. Now, this pattern follows through pretty much all of the different armors, but I want to go through just so you know which ones are which. So. Next up, we have the Apex. 
and here is the set for that now just a real quick reference here compared to what the perfect armor is now if we swap over you can see it's 160 160 and 400 so you get a, a decent little increase by doing this little trick so from the apex we have the frontliners helm and then the next piece which is the chest piece we have the usurper's coat and then the legs come from the Infiltrator's Grievous. Now, granted, these look terrible, so you're gonna wanna cover them up with some type of cosmetic because the set itself doesn't really look all that great. All right, let's move on to the Avian. If we go here and we take a look at the Avian, swap it over, you can see it's the exact same. And once again, the pattern continues. We have the headpiece from the Toucan. We have the chest piece from the Raven's Breast. And we have the leggings from the McCall leggings. Now, if you take a look, I have all of these set up in order with what you see here. So these are all going to go the health, damage, energy. All right, let's move on to the Florin. If we take a look at the Florin set here, you can see we have the synthesizers helm headpiece from the synthesizer set. If we take a look at the chest piece, it is from the Shaman set. And if we take a look at the pants, they are from the Sentinel set. Okay, let's swap that one back. On to the Glitch. This one looks the most hilarious in my opinion out of all of them. This one's great. So we swap that over. And it is going to be the headpiece from the Doom Lord's Helm. Chest piece is from the Templars set. And the legs are from the Legionnaires set. Okay, on to the humans. Humans is kind of funny too. So the humans is the headpiece from the Universalists set. It is the chest piece from the Wanderers set. And it's the legs from the Seekers set. Swap that back and move on to the Hylodl. And it is going to be the helm from the D Dysphotic set. I guess that's how you pronounce that. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that's Dysphotic. Uh, forgive me if I mispronounce that. And then it's the chess piece from the Aphotic. Yeah, these are a mess. Why can't these be as easy as the other ones? And then it is the uh, legs from the Euphotic. It's these legs right here. You see what I'm highlighting over. Okay, so yes, the downside to this is you, in order to get one of these sets, you're gonna have to build each one of these, but you don't have to build the entire thing. All you have to build is the the top pieces so if we go through and we knock each of these off and well apparently pick them up as well and we take a look here you can see that each of these are easy to craft I mean there's just three of them and then you only need one so you can place it down craft your armor piece that you need from it pop it off place the other one on craft the armor piece from it, pop it off, and you get the idea, and then and then do your next one. That way you don't have to craft three replicators because that can get relatively expensive. It's a lot easier just to craft the add-ons for them. And if you don't wanna go through all of that, you can always craft the perfect armor. The guide video that I made for that is still legit, still works. They didn't change anything other than hitting it with the nerf hammer as hard as they could but you get a bit of a, a stat increase by doing it with the uh, armor combinations. And I look through other stuff, but unfortunately your only tier sixes are the ones that you see here and the perfect armor. So if you want tier six, which is the highest stat you can get, that's pretty much what you have to choose from, which is one of the, the reasons that I wanted to make this video because it kind of sucks that they hit this so hard with the, uh, the the Nerf Hammer. Honestly, I think they should have just made it harder to get a hold of uh, and allowed you to have that jack-of-all-trades type armor. 
All right, well, I hope some of you found this video helpful. That is going to wrap it up for this episode. Before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all of your support. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to help support this channel through Patreon, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.